Hello, hello! Pyrophidius Pete here, back for more alien bullshittery than C-SPAN's coverage of a U.S. Senate debate on immigration in XCOM 2. Yeah, it's been Ted Cruz crazy so far up in here on this mission, with the strangest Overwatch Patrol concealment ambush I have ever seen kicking off. What should have been an entire slew of dead codexes, and actually is an entire slew of dead codexes, but what should have been an entire slew of dead codexes without ever firing a shot after they wandered into our bait, I don't, I don't know. They, instead of them getting ruthlessly gunned down like this was the St. Valentine's Day massacre, they just refused to scamper for cover and instead stood their ground and fired wildly at Cyrus Achy Breaky Juglick like he was a Florida teenager walking home from a convenience store with a pack of Skittles and an iced tea. <sighs> see Florida standing your ground. See what happens when you pass really, really stupid laws. But I digress. Florida is neither here or there. We're actually, I think, in South Africa right now. And the Juglicks hail from Caldwell County anyway, where you can carry a concealed weapon without a permit, but still have to be smart enough to realize that carrying a concealed weapon doesn't make you fucking Batman. Anyway, speaking of Batman, we could really use a little V-Supermaning right now in order for us to have an excuse to do some catastrophic collateral damage to this facility rather than have to go inside of it. Although, if, you know, we were V-Supermaning right now, I'm sure the director would take extraordinary measures to make sure the audience is aware that this port has been abandoned for years, even though clearly there were probably some hobos and squatters and whatnot hanging out at the port because it was abandoned and that'd be a cheap way to get some free meals, lodging, and other services and got catastrophically destroyed when Darkseid attacked the city. There's always gonna be collateral damage. You can't just hand wave it and say the port is abandoned. It just doesn't work. So we're gonna trigger this turret. I think we got a pretty, pretty respectable shot of bringing this guy down, even if all we wanna do is just hit him with a grenade. Or alternatively, we could just blaster launcher him. It would kill him. It sorta of seems like maybe it might be a tiny, tiny waste of the blaster launcher. We do have the wolf pack who could possibly kill it with a concealment shot as well. This is interesting. I would love to find a workaround that doesn't require us to do either one of those. Unfortunately, I believe that workaround exists in the person of Emmy Lou Juglick here, our freshly wed little beauty. Oh, she found her true love. Fair William. Fair William. Willy boy Juglick. And in fact, we can just fix this problem with a little bit of plasma grenade here. We got to keep EL safe, though, because Willy Boy, I mean, they're freshly married. Haven't even been married a single day yet fully. The Juglicks haven't even really had time to do a proper shotgun wedding marriage hoedown to celebrate. We got to make sure she comes back for her, you know, her honeymoon celebration. She's got some Shine Shack sex to have, baby. How's she going to have it if she's dead? Theoretically, you know, if Willy Boy was really wanted to get down with it and get sort of freak nasty, I suppose... The Shine Shack wedding honeymoon could still happen with EL's corpse, but that's taking it to a weird area. That's weird even for EL. Oh, hi, Archon King. I didn't see you there. Oh, it's gonna die, because it has like six health, so don't worry, the Archon King is done. What I'm actually worried about is his two little friends. His two little friends are gonna be the problem. Massey Ferguson? Did you hit? Uh, no, you missed. Okay, well, that's... Okay, no, just go ahead and empty your weapon pointlessly, that's fine. I actually do appreciate the free shots. It's nice. All right, Grandpa Juglick. I really need you to hit something with a frost bomb here, but I need it to be both the Archon. Okay, which... Can we get both of these guys? If I could get these two. Yeah, let's just do that. So we can frost bomb this guy. We'll frost bomb the Archon King, take away his reaction move. This will allow us to do... T we can get 12 damage on him somehow. And then we just got to figure out how to deal with his little chimpy pal over here. Which is fine, because I'm pretty sure we still have at our disposal. Achy Breaky, have you gone yet? Of course you've gone. You're you're never available when we need you, Achy Breaky. God damn you. Damn you, eyes! All right, then. That guy's got 12 health. We gotta do 12. I mean, Jules Juggler could straight up do it. You know what? Let's not, let's not, let's not muck about here. We're going to get one free dash here from our Frost Bomb, which we're going to use for a move. Then we're going to chuck an axe into this man's face, which is a freebie. We also have our, you know what, I think we'll Rage Punch too. And then we'll just shotgun that other Archon in the back. Yeah, these are both freebies. Let's just do that. So we're going to whip an axe into the old Archon King. Assuming it doesn't miss, I hope it doesn't. 71% is not fantastic. Oh, there you go. 
So that's a freebie. Seven damage doesn't count. Here comes the Rage Punch as well then for the follow-up. So give me the old Rage Strike. This theoretically could... I mean, it could fail to kill him. There is that. This is free movement. We're gonna Rage Strike. Come on, bring him down. Hoist it on your own petard, shit biscuit. How do you like that? Ah, uh, yeah, Jules, it was it was pretty goddamn awesome, I'm not gonna lie. And then what we're gonna do is shoot this man in the back, then, with all of the bullets. Well, we don't have Achy Breaky, though. We've got... We've got Activa S and the Wolf Pack. Can we kill both of these guys with those assets? We could run and gun. Julie Juglik does not have Untouchable, which is a problem. You know what? I think, yeah, we're gonna have to run and gun. What the hell are you talking about, Bradford? Are you, what are you, what are you babbling on about? Yeah, Dr. Vaughn is still missing. No, no one is confused and or concerned by that, really. 91%. Beautiful shot, 14 damage. This guy is all of the dead, then. We're just gonna have the Wolf Pack dash over. Yes, this is gonna cost us the Wolf Pack's concealment, but to have killed the Archon King on this turn without taking damage is a pretty significant victory, I think. I was fully expecting him to show up here, so no surprises. This one's for my little juggalo princess. She may be gone, but her spirit fights on. ICP forever, yo! Alright, we're not gonna do anything with your implacable move. Activa S, why don't you just reload? Reload. And that's gonna be end of turn then. This guy's gonna be enjoying a little bit of Disney film for a little bit. He's frozen. Let's uh let's see if we can let's see if we can sort of dole out some kills, if you will. Okay, so Wolfpack, I think we're gonna have you come over here behind this rock. Okay. And just go ahead and take a little bit of rapid fire at our friend. Unless the hit per you know, the hit percentage of the rapid fire is gonna be not worth it. Let's take a regular shot. There you go. Fifteen damage to our frozen buddy. And then we can have our other nice little ranger lady. Hey Jules. Jewel of my eye. Pride of the uh pride of the franchise. Wanna come teabag the Archon King for me? <laughs> yeah, give him the teabag, and when you're done with that, maybe also shoot his friend in the face. There you go. Nicely done. That's a solid, respectable damage output from two of our units over two turns. This is good work. Rest of the team, looking strong. Facility done. Archon King is dead. Emmy Lou Juglitz, let's get you up here to this corner. Have you take a little peep in here, see what's going on inside. Is the place jumping? Is it a juke joint? Is the juke joint a jumping, Emmy Lou? Are you cutting a rug down at a place called the Jug with a jug lick named Emmy Lou? I was cutting a rug down at a place called the Jug with a girl named Emmy Lou. She was mean and green and big and bad and wearing a funny snake suit. Okay, Cyrus Jug lick got a whole lot of nothing. You know what, team? Let's let's wait for Ranger support before we commit to anything else more aggressive. Uh, we'll bring your Achy Breaky. Why don't you come over here? Put you on Overwatch. And EL, nothing nothing fancy here. Let's let Team Ranger get over here and get some bullets in their guns before we commit to anything else that's you know potentially suicidal. At some point, we really need to switch to an expanded clip for Silas Juglick because that hair trigger is not doing him any good whatsoever. I think we've got it to trigger one time in the entire campaign. I'm pretty sure a single time is all we've ever gotten out of it. All right, Aki Breaky. Uh, I was gonna see. Do you want to go? Do you want to go in? But I mean, clearly you don't. How about you go up on the roof then? Let's make sure the rooftop is clear. If you're gonna spawn a somebody's gonna spawn a pod. Okay, that's fine. This gives oh fantastic a fucking gatekeeper. Well, just when you thought shit couldn't get any better and or worse, it fucking just gets dramatically worse. All right, then. Yo, I don't suppose you could grapple to the rooftop. You can, but not to a position where you will have cover. That sucks. So what's with these guys? We've got, uh, you know, actually a pretty surmountable. Do I think I can do 30 damage to a gatekeeper in a single turn? That's the question. Can I do 30 damage to a gatekeeper in a single turn and also kill those guys? That's the question. Because we don't have a Mimic Beacon. Cyrus took our move. 
Ah, uh, Grandpa Juglick. I don't, I don't suppose, oh, you know, Grandpa Juglick, you could run and gun. We could just have you run and gun and shoot the gatekeeper. That's fairly respectable. Activa S could overdrive, blaster launcher, maybe dash shoot. You know what? Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty confident we can take these guys, actually. We got plenty of run and gun available. You know what? Yeah, we're good. We're good. All right, so let's do this. First things first, Emmy Lou, I would like for you to grapple your way to Welcome there. To she's taking a high road, guys. She's taking a high road. And by that, she means she's going to not publish any more slash fiction. Okay, so Frostbite is unlikely to hit. That's fine. Gimme the uh, massive death explosion here because this should trigger Salvo. I'm going to be real salty if for whatever reason grapple negates Salvo. It should not because it doesn't count as an action. Well, enjoy your trip to the floor, gentlemen. Okay, so Salvo did trigger. Fantastic. Those guys are down there and both pretty badly hurt. Grandpa Juglick, can you see the gatekeeper? Oh, man, I was really hoping you'd be able to see him as a result of that change in that sort of elevation. You can't. All right, EL. No, no, yes. 70% is really not as good as I would like, especially when that, it's got so much armor, too. Alternatively, we could hit it with the acid. You know, you know what? Give me the chain shot. Give me the chain it up, Amy Lou. I'm going to trust you on this. I definitely should not have trusted you because you just fucking shit it down your leg. All right. Well, now that's a little bit more of a problem, isn't it? So we're going to have to overdrive here. I was hoping we might be able to get away from the overdrive, but uh, nope. That's, that's not going to happen. So then we're going to blaster launch. Man, the blaster launcher is friggin' enormous. It's real good. All right. Well, bring down the building. To my knowledge, gatekeepers do not fly, so this shouldn't be a problem. There you go. But whatever he was standing on is apparently indestructible. Intriguing. Please tell me that open line of sight for Grandpa Juglick now. Still can't see that guy? What the shit is in the road? They're, the building has been completely destroyed. Actually, that guy is standing on... He's, he's on, like, a tiny little ledge. That makes, that makes very little sense. All right, then, Activa S, let's bring you up here. If somebody's got to get shot at by a gatekeeper, I sort of would prefer that to be you. Could you not destroy everything between you and the target zone? Yes, I know you have very good chances. You have a terrible chance of hitting that, man. I don't suppose you could punch him, can you? You can't. You know what? At a 56% chance to hit, I'm going to say, no, don't punch him. That's, that's actually terrible. It's 1% worse than your shot, and I'd really rather just get the shred if we can. All right, that that's significant, actually. The shred really does help quite a bit. All right, Grandpa. Oh, great. Cyrus has no cover. Neither does Emmy Lou. This is, uh, this is not, looking, not looking great. So Silas can definitely kill those guys. He just tosses a shred storm cannon. Both of those guys die. He also becomes implacable and untouchable once that's over. What if we could lure out a shot? You know what? Yeah, I like that plan. Let's see if we can draw out a shot. So we're going to have you do this. Fire the shredder gun. Kill both of these guys. Minimum damage makes them be dead. Sorted. Also, I think we may have hit something behind that. It took nine damn. Yeah, that could have just been an explosive barrel or something. And then we're going to have you run down in here. I want you to be visible to the gatekeeper, but also I want him to have a huge elevation bonus to hit you. I'm really trying to draw him into shooting you. Then we're going to be Grandpa Festus up here. And we could have run and gunned, but we've sort of have eliminated any possible path Grandpa Festus might have had to get over to that guy. 77 is bad. We really cannot afford... You know what? We're going to do this instead. Something I rarely do, but in this case, I think will prove useful. We're going to give this guy a massive aim penalty with suppression. If we group up, he's definitely going to throw the everybody takes damage ability. But we also don't really have a whole lot of option other than to group up. So Julie Juglick, 
This is gonna be fantastic. Everybody's gonna be just fucked and ruined at the end of this mission. I'm... Alright. I mean, we couldn't have expected the gatekeeper. We weren't really... We didn't have it in us. With the aim penalty, though... Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and do it. You're gonna throw it at Grandpa Juglick? Really? No. He hit literally our entire team except for Silas Juglick, who was untouchable. Brilliant. Yeah, I'm not salty at all. You know, achy breaky, I can't help but feel that you could have uh, somehow thwarted this. If only you weren't terrible. I blame you for all of this. The gatekeeper is also open, so he's just gonna be dead then. We'll chain shot him. This is three kills for Grandpa Festus when both of those zombies die. I'm really kind of upset about the damage, but it, uh, it's our it's our first gatekeeper. Come on. One, two, three for Grandpa Jug. Oh, free two damage there on the explosion for the Massey Ferguson Activa S. Okay, I mean, that's, you know, totally fair. Not at all ridiculous. Okay, can we please get this hog shit mission over with? I've had, I've had, I've done had enough. Aiky Breaky, come over here and stand in the thing. On my way. Yeah, I guess what you're going to be doing. You're going to be using the ability we had hoped we would never really have to use, but clearly that was, that was wrong. So we're going to go restoration. This will take the edge off. Yeah, Pete, this will take the edge off, just like a little bit of old Grandpa Jug Licks fantastic corn mash liquor. Uh, this is supposed to heal everybody? Okay, I was going to say, if this does not heal everyone on a team, my salt levels are going to be absolutely skyrocketed through the roof furious. Pete, you shouldn't have bunched up. Yeah, you know, the damage was done by the time I put the last unit in there. We really couldn't have helped it. Silas Jug Lick is not hurt. EL, there's no cover anywhere up here anymore, so to hell with it. Just everybody get on Overwatch. Activa S, I'm going to have you repair yourself and go on Overwatch. This is one drawback to the Spark. I got to say, so far on this playthrough, I really have not been that impressed with Spark units. They're not abysmally awful, but they're also really sort of not good. And the other, the, the other fairly significant drawback to the Spark unit, they're really expensive. Who knows how long? Units running down here. Who, who cares, Bradford? It's, it's, they're Advent Troopers inside them. It's not like they're actual people, man. Come on. I'm ready. Overwatch. Just reload and overwatch. Here come the reinforcements. This is fine. We'll get them next turn. We'll go ambush them and then leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and your hostile reinforcements, Bradford. We're going to butcher them. It's fine. Okay, achy breaky. Plant the X4 explosive, if you would. I really want to get out of this mission zone, uh, pretty much like a post haste. Don't overwatch. I'd really like to go, Aki Breaky. Shit is, what is it with Aki Breaky too, and the fact that he is just a magnificent jinx? Every time this guy joins us on a mission, just shit goes maximally wrong. I think you're just bad luck. El, he, he's like he's a he's our black cat, man. He really is a he's a, he's like a, he's a, he's a super jinx, a super jinx. He's super jinxy. Super Jinx, Super Jinx, he's Super Jinxy. Grandpa Festus, I'm gonna have you run and gun for some point blank Overwatch goodness. It sounds suicidal, but I think it may be the greatest plan I've ever had. It's definitely the greatest plan I've had so far this mission, because so far this mission has been full of very much not good plans. We would like the Massey Ferguson to maybe be able to see these guys when they land and take some very desperate shots at them. This hit percentage is going to be abysmal. That's the other thing I'm not a huge fan of when it comes to the Spark unit. Their aim is real shitty. I would love to run and gun for some Overwatch here too, but it's not in the cards because even with the run and gun, we can't get to the top of there. Jules, you can though. Let's leave these guys nowhere to hide. Nowhere to run to, Jules' is hair. Putting the bullets right in your hair. It's an odd way to talk about splitting wigs. Look at that can, though. A dumper baby. I'm telling you, whatever ass technology they've got in the butt of the Berserker Queen armor, the rage suit, whatever, like, butt support is in that, we gotta mass market that shit. Forget the whole alien fighting thing. We're going to take the world by storm with, like, some new Victoria's Secret-style beautiful fashion tip shit. Oh, hi, guys. Did you see? Yeah, look, it's, uh, yeah, it's Grandpa Festus Juglick and his partner in crime, 
Julie Juglick, and an entire team of XCOM ready to butcher the shit out of all of you. Or destroy a tree nowhere near you. The other thing that could happen. Well, we're cutting up the terrain really nicely. Well, somebody did their job. Thank you, Grandpa Juggly. Also setting that man on fire. I see Ferguson with a wild miss. Look at him, he's tracking them all the way to the ground. Full credit to the Massey Ferguson for keeping his eye on the target. Way to waste even more ammunition. Cyrus? Oh, an execution reaper. We got a chance for Guardian if it triggers it. Yeah, okay. Nobody triggered it. Or it just didn't work. The execution was nice, Silas Juglik. That's like the one bright spot in this otherwise hog shit mission. So, congratulations. MVP award goes to you, I guess. Let's say, why not? Grapple over here. And why don't we just put a nice, uh, nice bullet in this man's face? What do you say? No, not that guy. This guy. There you go. Fired the weapon. That was remarkably poor damage output. Yeah, it did. Jank off the armor. That was bad. Hey, Aki Breaky, you've already taken all the damage in the universe. You want to just go for the trifecta and fuck up a skull mine, too? Well, now, come on, Pete, man. You put such low expectations on there. You give me such a negative feel right from the start, man. How am I supposed to succeed when you... See? This is what happens. You do that, then I get all scared. Get me... I don't understand like, why you treat me like this, Pete. You're kind of setting me up for failure, bro. And I did just put an 11 damage critical through that man's brain, so I still got the kill, just not in the fashion you preferred. Is that my fault? That I do things my own way? I go my own way, Pete. I'm like a Fleetwood Mac, so you can go your own way. Go my own way. Speaking of own ways, Grandpa Festus Juglick has torn that man just literally asunder. Who's keeping score? Well, pretty much XCOM is keeping score here, Grandpa Festus. I mean, literally, that's that's all we do. I count your kills after every mission, give you a kill to mission ratio, rate your effectiveness. Variously based on how well you have performed. By the way, the effectiveness ratio for this mission is fucking god awful. Everyone has failed. Just give me the evac thing. Um, let's drop it, say here. All the Sky Ranger. Can't. Apparently, I cannot place the evac zone in a place where soldiers actually are. I guess they figured that would be too gamey. Okay, XCOM. I mean, the thing is blue. Clearly. All right. So this is working as intended. <sighs> Nothing works correctly. I'm often salty. Recorded a lot of XCOM today. Maybe it's time to take a little break. I'm playing poorly as well. I mean, I did just get my entire team whacked by a gatekeeper. Although it was sort of a surprise gatekeeper. So maybe they're... I don't want to make excuses, but maybe I have something of an excuse. Is everybody in? Yeah, it's everybody. All right, so evac all, then everybody just... It's, let's wipe the dust of this place off of our boots and try and forget the shame that we have all endured as a result of our actions here today. Everybody okay with that? Good. On the plus side, we did avert the doom counter and blew up the facility, so it's not all bad. There we go. Everything a go explode. Operation Knife Saga. 20 for 20 killed, 5 soldiers wounded. The rating? Excellent. We, it's, it's, it's sort of like we're on like a kindergarten kind of trimester grading system where excellent is actually like the equivalent of a D. They'll be like, oh, you know, there's, there's needs improvement, which is the F. Then there's uh, satisfactory, which is effectively a D. Then there's, you know, like fair, which is a C. Then there's good, which is your B, and then superb, which is your actual A grade. So, you know, when we get an excellent every mission, we're, we're actually getting a D minus. It's like a 63% competence rating. New record for average damage per attack at 8.80. Okay. It seems unlikely that we should have set a damage record there, but I guess we did fight the Archon King and a Gatekeeper in the same sort of turn. And the funny thing was, the Archon King, he was sort of an also-ran. He was like a footnote in the journal entry of this mission. Got our asses whipped by a gatekeeper. Oh, also, Archon King died. 
then again, I think he had 12 health at the start of the mission. It's the third time we've fought him, and we've wrecked him pretty much every time, except for the first time, we've given him a pretty savage beating. That armor looks so ridiculous, though. Look at the headpiece. She looks like Tim Curry in Legend. Where's Mia Sarah, EL? Huh? Huh? Gonna, gonna rescue the Princess Beauty? And yeah, get you a little Tom Cruise in his pre-running around in my underwear with Rebecca De Mornay days? Yes? No? I'm out of I'm out of quips, by the way. I'm just waiting for Operation Knife Saga to end. I don't know what's up with the load times today, but they've seemed unusually long. There we go. The saga of the knife apparently is about as long as the epic of Gilgamesh. It's just real long, real boring, and real dull. Don't read the epic of Gilgamesh. It's really not good. Everybody's hurt, but on the plus side, Jewel Julie Juglick did get a promotion. The like one thing we can take away, the one positive takeaway from this mission, Jules got promoted. Whoop de shit. Hollow target. You know what? As hidden abilities go, hollow targeting is actually pretty friggin' good. I am not at all salty about hollow targeting for somebody who has run and gun and ultimately is gonna have rapid fire. I wonder if that applies to her second shot of the rapid fire. Or alternatively, the other thing we could have her do is whip an axe at a dude's head, throw the hollow targeting, and then rapid fire him herself. That's actually a pretty, pretty powerful combo. So the Activa S taking the worst of it, 36 days in the shop, but his wounds really don't matter. 14 days for Achy Breaky, par for the course. Grandpa Juglick's out for 11, that's a little unfortunate. Everybody else just down for five, except for the Wolf Pack, who's now still in full fighting trim. one of Dr. Valen's test subjects, I can begin an autopsy on the specimen as soon as you give the order, Commander. Well, I'll give the order as soon as you finish whatever stupid, irrelevant shit I have you researching right now, Dr. Tigan, which honestly, I don't even remember what that is. Hooray! We have reduced the Avatar progress by one. We've really hampered their efforts, haven't we, Optimus Prime? And that we've reduced it by literally the minimum amount one can reduce it by. We did exactly as little as possible to get over the bar. I, it's like we passed the course with a D. I guess we really did deserve that excellent rating. <sighs> well, I guess I'll wrap things up then. That's a depressing note. If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section. Of course, your support does really mean a lot. And if you'd like to see me end on a high note on a regular basis, you might consider subscribing as well, because every mission's a triumph. Every formation's a parade. Every paycheck a fortune. Ah, that's it. I'm done. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon.